everyone. So this is my first video for all those who are willing to learn Python from scratch. In my this series, I will be covering many basic concepts like how to get started with Python, what are the data types, what are variables, what are the conditionals, loops, how to write the functions, how can we import modules and many more. So the reason why we are learning Python is because it is a very one of the very fast growing programming language, fastest in the term of the areas where we can use it to implement our solutions. So whether you are working on a machine learning based application, whether you are creating a UI or even if you are creating a beautiful web application, it's everywhere. You can use Python everywhere. So having this positive thought in mind, let's get started. So as a Python is an interpreted language, the very first thing we need to install is the Python interpreter and you can do it using the link which, I, which is mentioned on the screen that is www.python.org and you can click on the downloads tab and it will take you to the link where you can download the Python. So on the screen you can see that the latest version of Python which is available to as of today is 3.10. And you can click on this button and go ahead with the installation. So if you are using any other operating system apart from Windows, you can select the respective operating system which is mentioned here on the yellow, yeah, in the yellow color font. So now when you install this uh, down uh, Python, the there is a default ID which will come along with you. I can quickly show you. So this is the one which is the default ID which comes along with the Python whenever you install. So you can click on this and it will open up the ID which looks like this. So I will not get into the detail as of now as this is very introductory class. Next is the information about the ID. So ID is short for integrated development environment and it is a software which allows you to write, debug, interpret and compile your code in a very user friendly manner. It provides you the execution environment, syntax highlighting, automatic code formatting, and many more useful features. So the now question is, which ID should I prefer? Which one should I use? So there is no hard and fast guideline. In fact, there are a lot many IDs which are available in market as of today. And I have listed few of those for you. So VS Code, PyCharm, Sublime Text, Vim, Anaconda Jupyter Notebook, Idle, and the Spider. But in fact, there are many more I said and uh, there are few ids which are work specific to operating system but there are many more which will work across all the platforms so based on your requirement you can make a decision on which one to go for and my personal preference would be the anaconda jupyter notebook so in next slide i will tell you how you can so this is i have already created an video I have already created a video uh, demonstrating how to set up Anaconda on your machine. So it will also guide you through the step by step procedure on installation as well as how to write and write sample code in the newly created notebook. So I would definitely recommend you to have a look at it once. And once these things are done, we are ready to go and write our first line of code. So for that, I will come up with the next video and let's cut it here. So till then, keep watching and see you in my next video. Thank you.